A turtle trapped in a fishing net, a fainting monkey, a sloth trapped in a lake, or a cat stuck several hundred meters above the ground. Sit back and enjoy the following footage of animals asking humans for help. In the United States, a family was cruising around in their motorboat on Marshmiller Lake in hopes of catching some fish for dinner. But little did they know that this day they were in for an incredible experience. They were cruising along quietly when suddenly Trisha Hurt, the wife, spotted a large mass floating on the water. They thought it was a big fish, so they naturally headed for it to catch it. But they discovered that it was actually a bear in distress. The animal had its head stuck in a plastic container preventing it from seeing and moving. The family decided to save it. All of them helped each other to carefully maneuver the boat in order to reach the animal without hurting it. Then, after several unsuccessful attempts, they finally managed to approach him to remove the jar from his head. Immediately after being freed, the bear swam away. As for the rescuers, they had to overcome an indescribable fear to be able to save the unfortunate bear, because an animal of this size is very impressive. In any case, as soon as the video was shared by Brian Hurt on social networks, the family was flooded with comments, congratulations, and praise. They became heroes in spite of themselves. It may seem simple to you like that, but it's not something everyone would do. Once, in a village of Chernaya Rechka in Siberia, Russia, firemen were called to help. A fire had broken out in a barn which contained no less than 200 pigs. The firemen then launched an incredible rescue operation. As they arrived at the scene of the fire, the firefighters realized that they had in their hands the lives of 150 terrified, suit-covered piglets. All 26 firefighters and seven trucks mobilized to save the animals in distress. They broke into barn despite the burning roof and worked in a line to get the 150 pigs out and back to their eagerly awaiting mothers. They lined up and passed the animals around one by one while another team was busy putting out the fire in the outbuilding. After several minutes of intense effort, the firefighters were finally able to extinguish the fire and save the distressed pigs. Their work was intense and very challenging, even more so than they are used to since this time the lives of 150 pigs were at risk. This event was so well publicized, applauded, and praised by the villagers that the firemen became true heroes in the eyes of all. This sloth, living in Tortuguerera, Costa Rica, decided one day to cross the lake where he lives to see what was happening on the other side. But he obviously forgot that he was a sloth and that he was surely going to have trouble swimming all the way across the lake. Indeed, the animal started to swim wildly, except that at some point he would get tired, which was very predictable. So he decided to stop swimming and let the current take him away. A few moments later, a man crossing the lake in his motorboat noticed the breathless animal floating in the water. He decided to rescue it and handed it the paddle with which he was rowing. The sloth did not hesitate. He seized the opportunity, climbed on the paddle, and let himself be transported while taking it easy. He seemed more reassured all of a sudden. He must have had a lucky escape because if he had not crossed the path of this man, he would certainly have died in an accident. Indeed, what the lazy man didn't know was that he was in the middle of an area of intense maritime traffic. Well, now that he is safe and sound and that he has been put back on dry land, it would be surprising if he wanted to do it again one day. These Costa Rican fishermen were once on board their boat. They were sailing off the coast hoping to catch a nice fish to sell at the market. But that day, they had an incredible encounter. As they were casting their fishing net, they came across a sea turtle. The turtle was in distress and that's why it was near the fishermen. It had approached their boat because it wanted to be helped and to remove a plastic straw that had become stuck in one of its nostrils, which was obviously causing it pain. The fishermen did not hesitate for a second to help him. They fished the turtle out of the water and all together in a great team effort started a very meticulous surgical operation. Indeed, after several long minutes of attempts, the fishermen were finally able to remove the huge straw stuck in the nostril of the turtle using the pliers. The turtle suffered a lot, but this operation was also very trying for the fishermen because the straw was very hard to remove. It had resisted a lot before letting go and finally deciding to come out. Once this was done, they put the turtle back in the water and resumed their work. Even if they don't catch anything today, they will at least have succeeded in doing a huge good deed in saving a poor turtle in distress, which had no chance of getting out if it hadn't come across them. A fisherman was walking along a beach one day, shovel in hand, to collect some razor clams, which are known to hide under the sand after the tide goes out. He was walking quietly when suddenly he saw something wiggling a little further. He decided to approach it and realized that it was a small shark that was trapped in the sand. Indeed, the shark had stuck its lower body in the sand when the tide was still high, and it was very small and did not have enough strength. 
it could not get out by itself. So the fisherman decided to save him. He used his shovel, plunged it into the sand and tried to pull out the poor baby shark. In no time, the animal was already saved. He then released it with the utmost care because he had to remember that it was a shark first and foremost, so he had taken a big risk in doing so. But it was not in vain because thanks to him, the shark was able to resume its little way with his family. The fisherman must have been proud to have done such a great deed in the morning. A kayaker was with his friends on a beach when he spotted a group of seals. Among them, a baby seal called out to him. The baby seal was trapped in a fishing net, so our kayaker decided to free it. He started to run towards the seals, which as soon as they saw him scattered and started to run away fearing that he would attack them. After a few strides, the man finally managed to get his hands on the baby seal. He held it back with his knee and hand, and with the other, he took out a pair of scissors to cut the net that had been wrapped around the animal's neck. The latter, who was terrified, gave the kayaker a hard time and he could not do things calmly. After freeing it from the net, the man released the baby seal which left to join its family, finally free. The man could be proud of himself. In India, a man who was walking with a friend when he happened to spot the body of a monkey lying on the ground and looking lifeless. He approaches it and notices that the animal was still breathing. He then realized that the animal was unconscious and decided to resuscitate it. He first tried cardiac massage, but in vain. The animal was completely inert. He tried again, but the monkey still did not respond. He shook it vigorously, but again, nothing happened. Until he had the idea to give it mouth to mouth, exactly as if it were a human. And then, it's a miracle. The monkey wakes up all dazed, clings to his savior, and doesn't let go. Although it was only an animal, the man experienced great stress as if he held a man's life in his hands. He really didn't want to give up, and I guess he was right not to give up hope. I know someone who made a new friend. Back to Costa Rica. A turtle was swimming quietly in the depths of the ocean looking for small fish and seaweed to eat when it was attracted by a kind of twisted thing. Thinking it was seaweed, the turtle naively plunged his head into it but unfortunately discovered that it was a fishing net that fishermen had lost in the ocean. The poor turtle found himself stuck in the net. Worse than that, the latter had wrapped itself around his neck to such an extent that it suffocated him. But it was without counting on a team of researchers that she fortuitously met, who recovered her on his boat while she was in great distress. They quickly removed her from the net, disinfected her wounded area, and released her back into the ocean. After suffering in torment for several days, the turtle was finally able to regain its freedom. She will learn to better spot her prey and not let herself be fooled by her empty stomach. In a residential area in China, the inhabitants of a building noticed that cats were meowing for several days, insistent and persistent meows night and day. They decided to look for the source of the meowing. After a long search, they realized it was a cat, which while trying to jump from one building to another had become trapped above an air conditioning unit several hundred meters above the ground. The inhabitants immediately launched a rescue operation out of the ordinary. They tried several techniques to bring the cat back to them, avoiding that it falls. And since it is an unpredictable and very agile being, there was a great risk that it would die during the operation. Moreover, as you can see on these images, he was really close to fall. After several minutes, the inhabitants finally managed to save the feline by using a pool net. Extremely stressful minutes that felt like hours. They were only relieved when the cat was brought back to them. That way, they will have saved the animal and found a royal peace. In Morris County, New Jersey, a small deer was frolicking in the forest when, while trying to drink, it unfortunately fell into the hands of a hunter who had spotted it from a distance. But as the hunter had aimed badly, his arrow ended up not in the animal's head, but in its nasal cavity. Indeed, as you can see on the pictures, the huge arrow pierced the whole mouth of the poor deer, which as soon as it was hit, buried itself with the arrow stuck to it. It remained like that for several days until biologists from the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection Division of Fish and Wildlife spotted it. They were alerted by a farmer named Susan Dara, who first saw the injured deer in her backyard in Boonton. Biologists immediately tried to capture the five-month-old animal, tranquilized it, and then removed the huge arrow from its nasal cavity. The poor deer lived in hell for several days with the arrow piercing its mouth. Fortunately, it missed all the major organs and arteries, and the puncture wounds were not infected. The deer was treated with preventive antibiotics and then released back into the wild. Today, he lives happily in the wild and occasionally visits Susan Dara on our property. Now tell us in the comments which of these sequences surprised you the most. Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.